Blog Talk Radio. Yo, yo, what's banging, man? It's your boy Nutso. Mr. Get With It and Get Your Face Knitted. Reppin' that Q Burrow, nigga. Flushing Queens, man. I'm out here with my motherfucking family. You already know what it is when you hear that. Who hey? Yeah, nigga. Screwball Radio with Black Poet and King Eric. Common, what up? This is what we do, man. Nutso. Queen. Was brangin', nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy Life Lady Long. Live from the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. So keeping the vibes right. You know what I'm saying? We got Screwball Radio. With your man King Eric, Black Poet. Shout out my man Common, you know how we do, you know what I mean? Screwball Radio. Get in tune, baby. We out here. Let's go. Yeah, what up, man? It's your boy Common, man, man, Screwball Capo. And I'm here on Screwball Radio with my brother Black Poet and King Eric. You know what it is? Escape the drippiest of Screwball. I'm here with the wildest and the grimy. King Eric and Black Poets at Screwball Radio. Oh, yeah. Shout out my big bros for life. Sean Nitty, Kyron, Tommy, Bron Chef. Rest easy, KL Hostel. Who is? Screwball. 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 What's up, good with y'all? This your big homie, Prodigy Hood from the South Central Cartel. I'm tapping in with the homies, Black Poison, Eric Mossberg, and Screwball Radio. Bang that. What's up? This is Prince Powell Rule, a.k.a. Marcano from The Leftovers, and you're listening to Screwball Radio with my man, Black Poet, and King Eric. Who <laughs> has? Yeah. What it is, what it is, y'all. This your play a part of the legendary cocaine. And look, I want to give big ups to my East Coast family. Shout out to Screwball Radio, you dig? Man, big ups to Tommy, Black, Poet, and my nephew, Eric Mossberg. That's what it is, Screwball Radio, Buddy Boys, the legendary cocaine. We on that monkey with funky campaign, you heard? Man, keep it wiggling. Screwball Yo, man, what up? Screwball Radio, good. live from the Matrix, my man, how are you? Everything good, man? Yeah, yeah. Sitting here, sitting here watching uh, the premier um, lacrosse league, so I don't know if people be into lacrosse like that, but they got their own all-star game and shit like that. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Episode 138, what's man. What's good with y'all, brothers? Hey, man, man. Happy going day, man, you know? Thanks, man. Or happy birthday, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Yeah. What you doing on your born day, man? You just chilling? Yeah, the first day, uh, Thursday, we chilled. And Friday, we went out to dinner with the family. All right, that's what's up. Went to, went to dinner with the fam. Probably going to head out of town tomorrow. Cause you know, I got to visit some more family. They want to see me, but we ain't seen them in about two, three years. So we're going to go out there probably to Smithville, deep in the country. So we're going to see what's going on with that. That's dope. That's dope, my nigga. All right, man. <sighs> Happy to make it another one, man, because we live in crazy times where... You never know one minute somebody here, the next day gone. So we got to cherish every moment, every step of the way. Yeah, I see you was at some, uh, like, press conference or conference or what was that you was at? Yeah, it was a that was today? Had over here with the fleet DJs. Yeah, we, I was out there earlier. Oh, fleet DJs? I was out there earlier. I know fleet. Yeah. I don't know about them. Yeah, they do conferences like every other year over here in in, uh, in Raleigh. So I figured I'd just pull up down there, see what we see what the business is, and they was giving some good game about the music music industry and 
it was an open panel full of uh, you know, we we seen y'all seen the Goody Mob out there. We had um, lawyers, we had uh, entertainers, accountants, we had DJs, just giving the real about the music business. Like you know, if for up and coming artists, they definitely should have pulled up out there. If you ain't have if you ain't show up to that, you missed out. <laughs> that was some real good game they were giving out. So what are some things they was talking about? Well, they was following up on probably what we was talking about with streaming, like the streaming and how it's impacting the the industry. Then you also had other avenues of how you can really get your money. Birch, getting the right attorney to really go in the files and to get the, get them involved wages for you. People start giving their experiences over there about their headaches about dealing with the music industry. Basically telling people that it's a full-time job. You got to be really committed to it. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, you, you got to uh, you gotta go in, man. You got to give it your all. And you can't yeah, think these people are going to You can't think these people are going to do right by you. They ain't going to do right by you. You know, it's it's all about the money, you know? Exactly. There's going to be some bitch ass niggas talking shit somewhere. You know, you probably yeah. got to have, like, lawyers watching lawyers, you know? Especially if you need lawyers to find lost wages, that means that, you know, they're doing shit under the table. Yeah, because a lot of these companies, they've been swallowed up. Like, especially if you had a deal in the 90s and you was making good music, these streaming companies, what's happening when these labels get swallowed up, they, they start forming ventures with these streaming companies. So the money that you used to seeing for before is now you got to go to the streaming, and that's like barely pennies to a dollar like we talked about before. So there's a lot of shenanigans and booby traps out there. Yeah, of course. Of course. That's without a doubt. Yeah. You know? Niggas need to move away from all these streaming companies. Niggas so thirsty to be heard. Niggas robbing themselves. Yeah. That's that's like a uh-huh. that's like uh that's like a, a dealer smoking his own work. <laughs> <laughs> coming up, he coming, he coming up short on the pack every time, every time. You put out a pack, that shit is a key. You, you move a brick, your music is a brick. You know what I'm saying? And you start giving it to the streaming companies, and and now you left with an eighth, and you ain't even make the money that you put into the money back. You you ain't even you you're not even seeing that. You know, like think they, about uh, it. And they've got to come up with a way to uh, promote themselves without giving their product away. You know, yeah. like if I mean, anything, you know, just put out put out little snippets of your shit. Don't put your whole shit out there. Put out snippets. You know, and uh, niggas want it. To, you got a copy from you. You know, from you. Yeah, that's and why. You know, gotta be out know. here will be. Only thing that'd be out there for them streamers, a fucking verse from a song, not even the whole shit. But what yeah, they and like niggas so thirsty, they give up their old shit and just niggas don't even get a chance to get no money. And you know what else too, right? Is you know the streaming company takes from you, and then you know not not to say anything bad about Bandcamp because Bandcamp is is a good source. You know to go support your indie artist, but they take a chunk out of out of you. So like, let's say for instance, you know, I put my album out, I sold five copies on on Bandcamp. The next one, they keep that. They keep that next one. The entire thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm they pump it for you. You gotta give them something. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, like for sure, you're using they, they, you're using they network, and you know they gotta get paid because they gotta keep their website running. Like, 
I get it. But at the but same time, do you really need them? No. You don't really need them. You can promote yourself, your image, and then have niggas cop the music straight from you. Yeah, but the you thing with saying? them is the that same thing, the everybody stream, stream the videos. Yeah, get that up to the fucking video sites and shit like that. But so yeah, but everybody knows everybody okay. knows to go to Bandcamp and buy the album. So in order for you to reach the people that, that are already going to Bandcamp, you know, it it'll be more work for the artists. So like I'll be do that more work. That's what it's going to take. Cut the middle man the fuck out. Niggas think they're going to reach so many more people. That shit don't actually add up to more sales. Just because a million people saw your shit don't mean a million people going to buy it. A million people listen to the shit. Nah, focus on your core audience, man. And have them buy that shit directly from you. That's yeah, that's the best do. way. That's the best way. That's the best way. That's how I did it for a long time. That's how I was doing it for a long time. Before I was dealing with Bandcamp, that's how I was doing it. Direct, direct through me, but, you know, if you're only reaching X amount of people, you're missing out on the other side of the people you know and no, that's the down time, a lot to giving your you giving your pack away though yeah you end you up know. giving up you end up giving up something you know you're losing alright let's say you know like I said you, you pump five CDs they're going to keep one so you know you pump a hundred CDs they're keeping like ten you know? Yep. But of course, you know. It ain't it, bad, you know. That's not you gotta break bad, bread. But, uh, either way. But for the indie artist, you know, you gotta press. Yeah, you gotta press your own shit. You know, you pressing your own vinyl. You pressing your own CDs. You know? The band camp ain't sending out. Band camp ain't. I don't know. I don't know if they send out physical or just downloads. What you mean? Thank you. Yeah, you can buy the digital buy album it. through. You can buy the digital album through Bandcamp. You can get the digital. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's a slippery slope. Niggas got to fucking maneuver that shit. But the best way is having your own website. And pushing your own website where the people gotta go directly to your website to buy it from you, you know. And that way, there's no nobody the there. Way. Yeah, ain't nobody there yeah. to, to be in the, in your pocket, you know. It's the best way. Yeah. That's for sure, man. That's for sure. But you know, tonight we got a we got a special guest. That's supposed to be on the show with us. Goes by M. Doc yeah, Diego, think... out of Rochester, New York. Yeah, I think he's on now. I'm gonna bring him on now. Yeah, let's do it. Chief. M. M. Doc, up, man? What's good? What's good? Appreciate y'all having me. Oh, man, yeah, man. Welcome to the show, baby. How are you? Doing good. Just uh, enjoying y'all conversation. Y'all dropping them gems. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, this for comment sure, speaking, man. you know. Glad, glad you made it to the show. Heard your album. Shit's tough. Appreciate that. You know, you definitely got that, uh, that Rochester sound. You know, Good luck. you know, I've been listening to a few artists coming out of Rochester, like Ethos and um, the Briggs and the Mooch. Definitely, uh, yo, yeah. yo, Definitely, yo, 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 man, how you, how you feel about today's hip hop right now, my G? 
how you feel on the how you feel on the I, like I, I definitely right um I, I I love where it's at right now because you know I mean I was I was born in Rochester, New York, but I grew up in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. But you know I always had family up here, and you know I mean I would visit, and my dad you know he go by G Nice. Um, he was a DJ. He had his own studio, so I would see Thirty Eight Special and you know um rob gates and there's plenty of artists mad dope artists you know might not be well known as ito but as far as upstate new york and rochester a lot of people know him and i got to see those artists firsthand record the music and sometimes do shows and you know what i mean just i was always telling people growing up you know rochester definitely has you know a hotbed of talent and you know these past few years you definitely seen that, you know what I mean? Shout out to Griselda and the whole Buffalo movement. You know, it's a lot of upstate New York, you know, presence that's being felt in the, you know, throughout the underground and mainstream. So it's, it's just a beautiful thing to actually see it grow. All right. That's what's up. Bobby, so, I so, yeah, 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 definitely. Um, so, you know, like we always, we, when we bring an artist on, we always ask them, um, of course, you said, you know, your your, your pops was a, a DJ. So where does the hunger come from? Because, like, you know, I, I listen to your rhymes and, like, you know, the beats, the beats is dope, but I can hear the hunger in the rhymes and, and, and the pain in the rhymes and that's what I'm I appreciate into. it. When, when when I listen to an artist, I want to hear truth. You know, I I need to hear that pain. I need to hear that 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 hunger from an artist. I don't like the rippity rappity rappity rappers. I don't want to hear right. that shit. You know, and you definitely come off with the like you know you you gunning for the top. You know, right? Where's that come from? Yeah, is this um. Just growing up, like, I was always into writing, you know. My first dreams was, like, just being, like, an actual, you know, writing books and screenwriting, doing movies. But just growing up under my dad and watching him and all these art- artists, you know what I mean, I ended up just writing music, and that just became a passion of mine. And just growing up in life, you know what I mean, we, you know, we all have our struggles. We all seen stuff. We all survive this you know environment so you know i always got something to talk about whether i've been through it or whether someone close to me been through it and i've seen it firsthand so you know that's that's where the, you know the struggle and the pain come from as well as like um you know my mother passed god bless the dead she passed away like in 2015 and when that happened basically i just like you know what i mean life is short so just let me go for it and after that I was just, you know, I hooked up with Manzo Beats, who did Universal Tongues. You know, he's a dope producer. He worked with a lot of dope artists. And after I worked with him, that opened up a lot of doors. You know, I worked with producers all around the world and artists all around the world, and, you know, throughout the underground, like top names from Pace One to GFM Black. And, you know, my bro, Katona P, originally from the Bronx, but, you know, he lives here in Rochester as well. And, um, you know, we got Three Kings Project. We're working on Three Kings too right now, so... I just been blessed, you know what I mean, just working hard and just creating opportunities for myself and just, you know, learning as I go, you know what I mean? Dope, dope. Yeah. Yeah, experience could be your yeah, experience could definitely be the greatest teacher. Cause that's what brings right. the realness out of your music. That's a fact. So, you know, we was just talking yeah. about uh you know the, the the whole streaming debacle, debacle. You know how you feel about the streaming, and you know of course your your music's out there for streaming. How do you feel about it? Um, like just with me, just growing up, I never thought that I could just put my music out there and be heard. You know, by the world. Like back when I was growing up, you actually had to get a record deal and all that extra stuff to even get played on the radio, especially growing up down south. And um, pretty much these the 2000s or whatever, that's when everything changed, you know what I mean? They had all these platforms and, you know what I mean? I remember Reverb Nation and MySpace and 
then it went to SoundCloud, and now you have these, you know, like TuneCore and DistroKid, so you can actually put it on a major streaming platform. And, yeah, it does have its, its cons, but the pros is, like, especially if you're independent and you own your own music, you are making the most that you can make. You know what I mean? Like, if I was a signed artist, they'd be taking even a more cut because the, the record label got to get paid, the producers got to get paid, and so on and so forth. But being that I own my own music, I get all of that, you know, for myself. Unless I'm doing splits with, you know, like a producer, if we do a collab or something, we just do a 50-50. But um, it's definitely better, you know, to have something like a band camp or if you could have your own website to where you could give it to your fans and they could actually purchase music and they own that, you know what I mean? Like I got people that bought vinyl of my, you know, my music and my album, so... It's always nice to have something for the fans to actually obtain, especially if they really support you. But, you know, I mean, like I said, it's just, it's just pros and cons. It, it should be better. We should be getting a bigger portion for the art that we create. But right now it is, it's just, you know, it's just another avenue that we could use until we figure something else out. Yeah, me, I'm, I'm totally against streaming. Fuck streaming. But the... But <laughs> yeah. the the thing is that you it's like you, you have to do it you have yeah, to do it true. because you want the people in China you want the people in Japan finding your music and that's what everybody's doing not a lot of people collect CDs not a lot of people collect vinyl you know yeah. it's only like a, a cult that, that actually collects vinyl there's only a cult that actually collects the CD so the average person got all these albums on their phone so it's like there's it's yeah. no way around putting the music out streaming unless like poet was saying you know you, you you really gotta put the work in you want to reach all the people you gotta you gotta promote heavy you gotta you gotta hire prs and and yeah. things like Just that to get you what across would you do, what would you do if it wasn't no internet you know what i'm saying if it wasn't oh, yeah. internet, what would you do you got to go, go the old school route. Like before, I was on the internet. I used to just do open mics and try to travel to you know near cities and you know do showcases and stuff like that. And then you know always have a CD that you could give out to your fans. But you know that's that's basically what we used to do back in the day. See, what we used to do yeah. take niggas titles, the battle niggas. You know what I'm saying? That's what it was. We battle right. Like, these niggas ain't had no battles. Niggas ain't got no war scars. Niggas ain't got no battles under their belt. But, you know, they, 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 they talk a lot of shit, you know? Right. Back in the day, you had to really show and prove, yo. And that's how your name got that's buzzed. A, that's how it was just, for me. Uh, I remember in yeah. high school, like, we used to battle in the lunchrooms and stuff like that, you know? So, you got a homeboy that rapping, you know, it's another crew over there. They got another homeboy that rapping. Eventually, you know, y'all going to have to see each other because everybody's saying, yo, he dope or this person over here dope. And then, you know what I mean? That's that's definitely like a coming of age, especially being like a real, like, MC. Like, if you ain't had no real face-to-face battles and real battles too, not that memorize three verses and go perform it. Like, I'm talking about you might have a, a pre-written verse already that wasn't really aiming for him, but it was just something dope. But eventually, you have to kick some freestyles, especially if the battle you know, went on. So, yeah. You definitely gotta have that under your belt. Yeah, these niggas don't know nothing about that shit, so you know, I like, want it easy. Like, going up to these people? Yeah, like going up to these people and really introducing yourself and pretty much even rapping on the spot for the most part. Yeah. Yeah, because you know, that's, that's, like some, that's something I always like, have to do. You know, you notice we never ask nobody to spit something. We never ask niggas to spit something because I, I feel like that's that's kind of corny, man. You know what I'm saying? They, why hip hop niggas got to be the only niggas to spit something? Like, you don't see that. Right. You listen to my fucking album. If you want to hear me rhyme, nigga. You know, I respect you. Yeah, that's, that's, like that's how I be now. Definitely. Yeah, man. Even though it, it's dope for shit to hear nigga rhyme live and shit like that, but come on, man. We do respect that, man. Like you said, I ain't no space, you know what I'm saying? You don't have no singers to do that shit. You don't have no all those country music, nigga, that 
Let me hear a little something. No, I think they got the song. You gonna perform? I perform for you. I mean, but just the rhymes for me. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, it's different. It's different mm-hmm. when you with your peoples and y'all in the cipher, and y'all all start kicking rhymes like back in the day. You know, you with your peoples, right. everybody, you know, smoking, drinking. Somebody set it off, and y'all just in the cipher, rhyming. You know. Yeah, that's man, when it was how it's supposed to be. Especially when you're yeah, around other MCs and producers, that's that's. I mean, that's more organic. Yeah, 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 for sure. Cause your you hour, back. Man. This is your hour. This is your hour, my nigga. Yeah, this is your hour of school right. radio. We know, we know, we know, we, we, we got to smash things with some shit. We gonna talk some shit about you. Gotta let them hear something real quick to get back to you. Word. Right. What's going on, you over there? Got your finger in your butt. Fuck you down, fuck <laughs> 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 playing, man. You gotta give him some of that M. Hey. Doc Diego, man. You give us some guests. Give the hell yeah. Comes out. We have, we have guests, man. Oh, oh man, doubt, man. man. We got some dope music going on the way, man. So. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gonna get your? You gonna get yours, B? <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go Saturday night, man. Let's hit them, man. Let's hit them, man. Let's hit them. We're going to get back at them. All right. Yeah. Okay, March in this marathon of life, take this walk. Speak about my days, show you the rhythm of this night, how I barge in the game. Take charge with my name, we was born cursed. Curse, tainted land, hex, birth of a corrupt nation. Enemy of the state with no sank, no help. Still we made it, made it happen, no waiting. Gotta make our own plate. Now they trying to eat off mine, got their eyes on me. Speak on mine, universally I teach with the rhyme. Each ball racing ain't mine. Can't escape from the lines, they step them wrong, leaving them blind. I bring reason to find a way out, never leave them behind. In hindsight, show you what this grind like. Grind. I show you what my mind like. Uh-huh. My heart cold, bout cream like a Klondike. 48 hours, we came here to kill it. We here to make history today, Lord willing. We here to store the feeling. I know you feel it, real cheese in the building. Destroy your building. 48 hours, we came here to kill it. We here to make history today, Lord willing. We here to store the feeling. I know you feel it, real cheese in the building. Destroy your building. One freedom, so they let it ring. Lift every voice till they let it sing. Yellow tape stretch the thing. Seen things shouldn't have never seen. Where they let the weapons scream. Only got strikes trying to shed the grave. One of twenty looking different. Stack money, get the digits. Free the dogs from the prison. Thank the Lord that I'm living. Praying that my sins still be forgiven. Repercussions from the act that the forgiven. But stay hidden, holding two, three phones. Dying to be yourself. I seen two, three clones with hoop dreams on the table. But truth be told, they still falling on the block. Holding two, three zones. You be shown. Contradictions. Some don't have a pot to piss the consequence. Choose a legal business or an honest living. When the soul speak, you gotta live. First two days, camera got it. Fear caused a lot of killing. 48 hours, we came here to kill it. We here to make history today, Lord willing. We here to store the feeling. I know you feel it, real G's in the building. Destroy your building. 48 hours, we came here to kill it. We here to make history today, Lord willing. We here to store the feeling. I know you feel it, real G's in the building. Destroy your belt. Hey yo, all I teach is knowledge is self. Reciprocity, the goal is leave my son and my daughter. Profit and property, you had to know. Can't fuck with us, nigga, you comedy. Doc through the 48. Doc, what up? Going hard to play. Real recognized, real. Never had to nominate the ganja uh-huh. way. If you ever see the blow in my 
my face Be careful all them niggas stick Too much talk, that's dry snitching uh, Like the rose in the concrete I rise different I seem not a distance But mostly I'm always near Surviving, not driving my G That's two different tears I hit a different gear You stuck as I flow by I provide action, never waste time Y'all waste lines, talking like you do it uh-huh. You ain't never moved, no lick Too much boost I'm not impressed, gotta live more than you rap About money with every step I'm gone, you just left me yeah. In the tour, the blacksmith, I burn jewels, ten game like Shakespeare, writing in the journal. Pages I turn through on stages, we earn those, pay homage, keep it respectful. All I learned, share trouble, share joy. They ain't riding through the storm, can't get love from your boy. Lucky if I let you eat with me, cause he's singing plenty, don't say nothing, just keep it offending. In that same energy, don't need that near me. Uh, better alone than bad company yeah. All about cash and luxury yeah. If you not with me, then it's up with me No, you can't fuck with me fuck with If you fam, then you stuck with me stuck with Just me. fuck if you not with me For all my immediate loved ones, I'm a ride for And when it's go time, I'm a slide for Play the front and the wall Flow KO Ken times 104. Yeah. Keep it 100 and more. Yeah. Gorilla Warfare, I'm starting with yours. It's all seems to be hunting for sports. Yeah. Get familiar, I know you heard. Get familiar, I know you heard. Paint pictures with a thousand words. Paint pictures with a thousand words. Get familiar, I know you heard. Get familiar, I know you heard. Paint pictures with a thousand words. Paint pictures with a thousand words. Picture perfect. I paint a perfect picture. picture. Man in the mirror. Said I've been that nigga. that nigga From a city where you might need a blicker Cause the streets getting thicker Get familiar Man, get on the beat Mario on the mixer This ain't overnight, we moving right But right. you go down smooth People try to hate, never lose my cool I'm just putting out work High quality and mass quantities Here in this flower city We bloom the best bone Remember grandma's garden Now we got our own It's out of roots, trap A We got Juice, live and living proof. Italian architect, man, do keep them beats fresh. Ain't nothing for recess. Where I'm from, I'm one of the best. Plus, globally, yeah, brown, to give me my respect. P E C T. Plus, I got that shit on them fly. You see me? Get familiar, I know you heard. Get familiar, I know you heard. Paint pictures with a thousand words. Paint pictures with a thousand words. Get familiar, I know you heard. Get familiar, I know you heard. Paint pictures with a thousand words. Paint pictures with a thousand words. We are going to write this. No less than a thousand words. Schoolboy Radio. That's what I'm talking about. All course shit. Schoolboy Radio. Rock in the fucking matrix. What up, Don? Good job on that game right there, yeah? I appreciate that. 
lyrics, man. Yeah. Lyrics. yeah, I'm telling you, man. Yeah, that's that's the first thing. one. Yeah, the lyrics, the pain, shit that that you could feel, man. Like, you know, a lot of this music out there, like, you know, a lot of it, you know, they they talk about selling their things and and moving work and and all of that, but ain't nothing better than feeling the pain and and and, and the hunger in the music. You know, yeah, that's, that's what makes good. If you can tell it's authentic and it's like this guy sound like he's just fucking making shit up. <laughs> and then you got the niggas you can just tell, okay, this nigga the truth. You know? There's a lot of good comedians out there. There's a lot of niggas that sound like uh sound good, but I can't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You hear a nigga's voice, it's like looking in his eyes. You know what I'm saying? You can tell with him, but a nigga eyes don't lie. A nigga pain don't lie in his voice. You know? Yeah, pain don't lie. It, That's for sure. That's the truth. Pain don't lie. That's right. So how how'd you going um, on up there, man? The hip hop scene going on up there, man. Y'all niggas be doing mad shows. Y'all niggas support each other. Or what it is up there, man? Oh yeah, having, we like, don't have be going at each we don't have that many shows just because um just because like you know when with the violence or whatnot they always trying to. Especially when it comes to hip hop, they always trying to control, you know what I mean, what we could do up here. Like but um when we do get some shows we definitely support each other. Be wild, probably be man. like hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't front. These venues know what it is now. They can't they ain't, they ain't going for it no more. They niggas club has been tore up too many times. They make, right. They lose their channel let this all kinds of plugs back into their shit and tear their fucking establishment up. You know, niggas did that shit in the 90s and 2000s. And he was like, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. We got to start fucking. And it, it really be, it be the promoter's fault, though, because it's like, you know, y'all bring in, you know, these whatever, these little turned up mumble rapper type, you know, people. And y'all bring them out here to perform and shit. And you know, y'all don't have the right security and shit like that for the for the venue. Plus, it's like... Like, a concert or a show with artists like myself, especially independent underground acts, like, we ain't never had no problems. You know what I mean? It was only, like, one show I've ever been at where some, some it really went, you know what I mean, it went left at the end of the show. But other than that, out of all the shows I've been a part of and even performed at, I, I, like, 99% of the time, I never had any problems. You know what I mean? And I, I do think it's because of the music. You know what I mean? If you got real hip-hop, conscious hip-hop, even the good street hip-hop, you ain't going to see that. You know what I mean? You ain't going to see that at no Nas concert, but you'll see it at, you know what I mean, like a little baby concert or something like that. You know what I mean? Like a 21 Savage. Certain, certain niggas bring out, certain niggas bring out the, 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 the hood niggas, like, back in the days. Like, right. You got niggas that come to fucking Eric B. and Rock Kim shows, right? Niggas that don't do mm-hmm. nothing. Niggas don't go to no other shows. Niggas don't do nothing else but be in the corners. But these niggas is coming to the show. <laughs> so, you know, it'd be different when, 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 you, when you bring in different niggas that, you know, right. come from the streets. Shit gonna pop off. Yeah. And, and and especially when you like, got different types of street dudes. You got the, the businessmen street dudes, and then you just got the, the young, wild street dudes. Especially with the, the oh, new yeah, type yeah. of music. You got the business niggas, you got the dirty sneaker niggas, you know? The dirty right. sneaker niggas, oh, they're foul. Or is that? I don't know how to act. Yeah, yeah man, so who's your affiliation? Who's your affiliation? Like, who you fuck with? You just fuck with Junior Team? Or you fuck with other niggas from up there, you know? No, I'm cool. I'm cool with a lot of people, um, especially as far as the the hip hop scene up here in Rochester, it's, it's a lot of different rap groups or, you know, solo acts and whatnot. And you know what I mean? Like I try to reach out and work with everybody, especially because I know I have a, I have a, a attention, I have a spotlight on me. So, you know, I, I'm not the one that try to hog it for myself, especially if I'm cool with somebody or even if I'm not cool with them, if they got, you know, if they a solid individual and, they got a good thing going on. I see them working, then I'm just going to reach out and work with them regardless. 
as well as artists outside of, you know, upstate New York. I'm, I'm cool with a lot of dope, you know, individuals throughout the underground. And, uh, you know, right you now, I just feel you. like it's a tight-knit community. You need more of that on the, you know, East Coast, New York side of things, man. You know, we need more right. community, man. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas be want to go at each other or hating on each other or blocking each other. You know, we got too much like ego. Definitely. I definitely feel you. Yeah, there's plenty. Yeah, there's plenty. That's, that's how it was back in the day too. There's, there's plenty like enough for everybody. Yeah, there's plenty. Right. There's plenty room for everybody. You know, everybody is not the same. It's just whack when people try to sound like everybody else. Like just be yourself. Mm-hmm. Like you know, you sound like yourself. You know. It's, it's almost like the production game, like, you know, Griselda drop. People want to start making beats like Derringer instead of just right. My dad being that all the time. You know, just be yourself, you know, just like Primo. You got, you know how many people that send me beats and tell me, oh, there's a Primo type beat. No, it's not. Yeah. Primo ain't make that <laughs> shit. Hell yeah. That shit is just the trying to, They're trying to. They're trying to copy and shit, emulate. Yeah, but if if you know the authentic, the authentic sound is what is loved. So right. Derringer is loved because. I don't know what people fucking mean when they say a primo beat. What the fuck you talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, it's just it's just the sound that they they try to copy what he did and. You know, same with Derringer. They try to copy him. They try to copy Alchemist. They try to copy Muggs. They try to copy just about everybody. But you got people that are real authentic with they shit. Like like Poet. Poet make his own, got his own style of beat. And he, he, he come off shit as hardcore all the way through. And people know Poet for his lyrics, but they don't know about his beats. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just always good yeah. to to stay in your own lane, like you know, like you you in your lane, like like I ain't never heard nobody sound like you, you know. And that's that's what makes yeah. you, you you make beats too, then or you just you on the mic, you you talking well, hip hop. Nah, I just I just, I just rap. I I know how to um engineer a mix. I used to record myself back in the day, but um I always tried to make beats that just it just never panned out. I can never, you know, what I mean, do it all the way. I start on it and then I just stop. Mm. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta follow through, though. You know, follow right? Through. Yeah, like, I'm gonna I'm gonna start working with it again. You know, I ain't never yeah, made a beat ever. Yeah, I, was, I know you got some fucking questions for them. Yeah, man, I want to mm-hmm. ask them like what. Like, you know, with this game here, because we talked about this earlier, it could be very soul-wrenching, and at times it could just suck the soul out of you. Like, what keeps you motivated to keep on pursuing this, especially on the independent level? Yeah, like, I would say um, just being able to create the art, and then every, like, recently, these past few years, every time I drop a project, I, um, I just get a greater feedback. I get a greater response. And that's really what motivates me. You know what I mean? Every time I get a new DJ to play my music as well as I have to, the same DJs that was already playing it, you know what I mean? As long as I keep that growth constant and as long as it's keeping, you know, growing and whatnot, that's really what motivates me as well as this. I'm always going to be able to write because, you know, whatever I go through, I write. Whether I'm happy, angry, sad, whatever, I'm always writing. So as far as just creating it and putting it out, you know, as long as I get that response, then, you know, that's always going to keep me pushing. That's what's up, man. We're going to always be able to support you over here at Super Bowl Radio, man. So I appreciate that. Yeah, shout out to MJ. You know, shout out to MJ because MJ put me on to her. You know what I mean? She reached uh, out to me. Uh, she's been a big help for her. She's been a big help. Salute to her. Yeah, yeah. She she put me on to you. She was like, yo, check this guy out. Tell me what you think. And, you know, of course, I'm going to check him out. I'm going to check you out, you know. And I, then I listened to a couple of your YouTube videos. 
And I was like, yo, son, is grimy. Like, I like that grimy shit. You know what I'm saying? I like that grimy hunger pain shit, man. Because that's, that's, that's where I come from. I come from that hunger, man. Like, you know, no matter what, I'm always going to be hungry. I'm not thirsty. Reality I'm not thirsty, rap. but hungry. Yeah, exactly. Right. But yeah, let's give him some more, E. Let's give him some more. I know we got some more. And Doc Diego. Straight out of Rock Test in New step. York. Let's give it to him. No step. All right. From corner stores and dope spots, where they let it pop like a soda top. Blocks are trying to take over while police may focus. You gotta keep the stash so one close, always in your shit. Had to know who I was dealing with. Tried to teach him, but not everyone can fish. How you respect a man to eat? Gotta learn to get it on your own. No surrender, no retreat. I was out there on the mission. Came up on something, broke it down, started pitching. Get it off the plate like Maddox and Clemens. Playing with each station. Long line of hustlers, Redman had it still through some of our old customers. What you expect us to do? We held races trying to piece together the puzzle and the clothes. Little shorties in your shit, hitting licks. Gotta get it by any means trying to come over this predicament. It's yeah, cool, Bob. Never before designer with my size, loyalty and trust by any means. Trying to come up. Crazy niggas with figures or double barrel shoddy triggers Bringing all your man, your biggest school up in that body bigger I'm the type to burn your picture just to fire up a swisher Down for getting richer, think like Rizzo, bring it down with you Cause when I grind with you, I gotta climb with you It's not personal, you in the way, I gotta hit you It's like talking honeys to get topless like convertibles The word is smooth, can't trust the cat with the nervous moves You versus who, me? You the worst of fools, kick them all, fuck his ass so bad I had to burn the shoes. Opened up my leather jacket, shiny Rolex, regular Joe's a jealous gun, bought a soul of flexion. Set fire to the building, lock and close the exits. This is business, there's a lack of pleasure in my presence. Lift my Smith and Wessons, see they miss the message. Here's a lesson, mess with me and meet the heavens. Release the weapons from the car windows, East legends. And delete your veterans, grab beef is ending. This cool mob. Never before the sign of Ramon Shots, loyalty and trust by any means. You trying to come up, never person knows who this is the fuck. This cool love, never before the sign of Ramon Shots, loyalty and trust by any means. You trying to come up, never person knows who this is the fuck. Hard lessons and hard thoughts 
feel this moment, this pain we brought, let's take a walk. Onyx told you how we walk in New York, see every bit of mark. Can't take a walk late night in any Lincoln Park. In the end, they'll leave me numb for what I've done and leave me one step closer to the gun. I'm too fat to run. Let's take a stroll so I can show you where not to go. Even in summer, it gets colder than lots of snow. They see you older and they stop the show. I'm from a city where you grow up thinking anything is possible. Knocking you around for points to get across. Words don't always do it. When suckers overdo it, laws. They find a letter to finish the phrase. They take an L for trying to intercept your play and diminish your ways. Raise the city like the upstate days. We darting in the mix and for fuck's sake, praise. Holy shit, it's thrown around. Especially when you witness a different person get blown daily to the ground. Politic and our thoughts, they like I talk. From a city of drug money and white chalk. Hard lessons and hard thoughts. Till this moment, it's pain we brought. Let's take a walk. Politic and our thoughts, they like I talk. From a city of drug money and white chalk. Hard lessons and hard thoughts. This moment, this pain we brought, Look, I'm from the dismal swamp Where a 20 gauge pump could blow a chunk Got your torso, blood on the fangs of a king corso Hit the brick and mortar, scan for the retail The boogeyman, he's under your bed I hope you sleep well, the black mafia With no BMF ties, TMS You know the rest in the back of an X5 Piece of Henny Sport and E-Class They'll be back on the turf soon We gon' travel to earth before it bursts kaboom Footprints of the grapes left in the pavement I was covered in diamonds before the slave ships. Now I'm covered in diamonds for a special engagement. Hating niggas can't move their bowels. Look, they ain't shit. Razor under my tongue, each word sharp. No cast the gap pop and say they wound is a birthmark. The worst part is no escape from the dramatics. Toy soldier, OT with dirty birds in a Toyota. Politic and our thoughts, they like I talk. From a city of drug money and white chalk. Hard lessons and hard thoughts. Still this moment is pain. Let's take a walk. Politic and our thoughts are like I talk. From a city of drug money and white chalk. Hard lessons and hard thoughts. Still this moment is pain we brought. Let's take a walk. Never 
there with the dummy still More money, more problems, it's true The harsh realities of life take control It ain't no shame and I can't we do our thing, son Never been a dummy, never did with the dummy still More money, more problems, it's true Radio men on a Saturday fucking night. And De- Diego, what the deal he done? That uh, beat was hypnotic. Yeah. Yep. Uh, the music he turned <laughs> off, I ain't know if I'm still on or not. Oh, yeah, yeah. You still, yeah, you still yeah, here yeah, with you us? Yeah, hear me out. Yeah. I hear y'all, though. Yeah, that's what's up. Hello? That's what's up, man. Music is tough, man. I got, you know, I love, I love grimy shit, man. I love grimy shit. I love, I yep. love pain. I love. I, that's, that's what makes music you. for me. You know right, what I'm saying? Cool. For real. So, yeah, it keeps, it keeps that realness. So how long you been making the music? How long you been making music? You know, Hello? how long you been oh, in the man, game no. doing? You there? It's still there. there. Yeah, it still got it still has them on. Hold on one second. I'm gonna try to have him call back. Hello? Call back the show, man. Just hold on, I think he's still on. Alright. Yeah, he's gonna there? call back, man. Yeah, yeah, I think that was an issue with the phone line. He said he's going to call back in a second. Okay, okay. What yeah. you think about him, I just told him to call back. The poet, poet call got dropped, too. Must be some issues oh, with the wow. phone lines. So what you think about him? But this guy here, man. Man, I'm like, I like that he's keeping that authentic New York sound. Like You can tell that. I love regional music, man. I love the regional sound. That's what makes makes an artist stand out. There's nothing wrong with being diverse and experimenting, but I just have a soft spot for somebody that sounds like New York, like a regional sound. Like, take me to that New York state of mind, you know? Yeah, I mean, you know, he's definitely uh, in his own lane. That's what I like about him. I'm kind of mad that I'm just finding out about him. Right. I feel like we should have we should have been playing, you know, because he's he's perfect fit for Screwball Radio. You know that gutter grimy real shit that we love to to feed the masses. You know what I'm saying? Every Saturday night, yeah, giving them that that real grimy Screwball type music. You know what I'm saying? And yo, shout yeah, out to back home now. You and Doc, you back? Yeah, I'm back. I don't know what's going on. I appreciate yeah, yeah, that, though. Thank you. Yeah, we in the matrix, so sometimes we get glitches in the system. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, as long as you call back. But my question before you got cut off was, uh, how long you been doing this? Because I'm kind of mad that I'm just hearing about you in the last. You know, like NJ put me on to you, like. Maybe like two, three weeks ago. But how long you've been doing this? Mm-hmm. I've been, shoot. Oh, like I said, like, I've, I've been writing just because my dad was a DJ. But um, I didn't take it real serious, like actually putting it out, you know, till 2015. And um, pretty much I put out a single called uh, Carolina Shit. And it, it went on Coast to Coast mixtapes. And after that, um... DJ Cinemax, he reached out and I did a autobiography of pain, and I recorded that at Edo Studio because my dad's studio was down at the time, and um that was on Edo right before he blew up, a few years before he blew up, like 
the level he at right now. Um, he was still recording people and whatnot. And um, I recorded at his studio, and it just went on from there. And I was just blessed because, you know, I was getting game from Edo right before he took off. And then um, after he got on, like, my dad pretty much was cool with 38 Spes, right, when um, Spes was kind of forming the whole trust movement. And um, so I got to be around Spes a few times as well because he had a studio and my dad was working in there, like, so a few years back. And um. You know what I mean? Like, i just been blessed. Like, uh, Ninth Wonder, he's from North Carolina, and I met him when I was in high school, and this was right after he sold the beat to Jay-Z, that threat beat off the Black album. So, you know I mean? i just been getting game, and like I said, um, i always been writing. It's just I, when I took it serious around 2015, it's just, you know, I was, take it, it was, I was taking it more serious and more serious, using publicists and doing music videos and like, I remember um, Hustler's Antidote, I got Katona P on there, and um, Freeway from State Property, like, he commented under our, you know, post on Instagram, he did the fire emojis and said, you know, he was, like, early. So, you know what I mean? It's just, uh, what I could say is just, just don't give up, because you never know who watching, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure, for sure, you know, that's, that's, that's always my... You know, because I myself, you know, I make music too. And, you know, I do it because I love it. You know what I'm saying? I've been in the game for a minute. You know, we started doing this radio thing when the pandemic hit. Pandemic affects you. You know, we shut everything down. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no no shows, no, no, no in-studio radio interviews was going on. Like, nothing was going on. Like, so how did it impact you, and did you, you obviously grew out of it because, you know, you're back again, new album, and you sound hungry, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. Um, like, when the pandemic happened, that was when Manzu Beats reached out to me, because, you know, the whole world was shut down, just like you said. And I mean, I was going to work still. My kids, they had a uh, remote learning and whatnot. So I really ain't had nothing to do but make music. And luckily my dad, he he was only living like, I say like 15 minutes down the road from me or whatnot. And um, like me and him, we did it's a, a project called Bobby and Huey. We, that was our first project we did together. You know, off of, you know, the Black Panthers, named after the Black Panthers. And um, I made that project in seven days during the pandemic. And oh, that was right after I mm. wrapped the University of Young Born with Manzu Beats. And, you know, he from Italy, you know what I mean? And since then, like I said, we've just been building together. Now we on Universal Tongues 3 right now, as well as we did uh, Three Kings with Katona P. You know what I mean? And like I said, every project, Every time it's just been bigger. The, you know, the music's been better, the beats been better, as well as the response has been better. So it's just been a blessing. Yeah, you know what I mean? Just yeah, yeah, you stay active, and uh, you know, people gonna come. Cause like I said, you your music is hard. You don't sound like it. nobody. You know, and it's always a breath of fresh air to listen to somebody that's dope. You know, it's got to have that rewind. Like, you got that rewind. Like, let me hear that again. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. You know, sometimes you just be skipping over motherfuckers because that shit is whack. I'm just saying, right. it's whack. But when you got that, that it factor and you got to rewind that shit, well, let me hear that again. And it's good to your ears. Oh, yeah. It makes you feel good. You know what I'm saying? That, right. that, that plays a part in music, you know. That's why the legends are still legends and people still listen to the legends because we could listen to the legends over and over and over again and it sounds like the first time you hear it, you heard it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, it's all about originality as well as like when you're a writer and you're making music or when you're making beats or just a DJ, whatever you do. You know, a break dancer or uh, artist, whatever. You always try to be original, and as well as you always like. It ain't even about competition with other people. It's about competition with yourself. Like, especially if you 
really feel like you're great. You know what I mean? You're always trying to be better. You know what I mean? You're always trying to be the best you. You're always trying to do better than what you did before. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, Just that's, being that's, a creative in yourself. That's, that's, what I, that's, that's how the, I see it. Yeah, that's the best mentality to have. Is there is no competition. There is no competition. Your competition is, is getting better with yourself. You know? Yeah. And you know, the haters going to be there. The doubters are going to be there. But those people don't matter. Only people that matter is the people that's actually listening and and giving you that good energy and that good feedback and telling you, mm-hmm. yo, when's your next album dropping? Yo, where can I get your music? Like those people outweigh all the other people. You know? And mm-hmm. here on Screwball Radio, we're gonna be playing your shit. You know what I'm saying? That's for sure. Because like I said, man. Yeah. My yeah, e. yeah. It's also, yeah, I was gonna say too, man. Like, it's about having the importance of maintaining that established and loyal fan base. Because you see, even the biggest artists, they struggling to sell tickets. Whereas you got guys like Nas and Wu Tang, they selling out shows still. So the it's very yeah. important to you know be true to your audience. That's yeah, fact. For sure. You got to like, like, like I said, just you got to be original, and you, you also have to be unique. I mean that that's really you know like like you said with Nas and Wu Tang that's that's why people like them so much because especially with Wu Tang there was nothing like it at the time you know what I mean especially with so many different artists got their own style and whatnot and that's that's why people gravitated to it you know what I mean just being yourself yeah and that's that's kind of why you know Griselda is where Griselda's at because Griselda came out. I mean, they've been around, but they started getting noticed at a time where all that other bullshit is being planned. Nobody want to hear that bullshit no more. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, it's cool. You're in the club and that shit come on. That's cool. But nobody wants to listen to that shit all the fucking time. People right. want to hear right. reality. Right. They, want to hear, they want to hear the truth. They want to hear real shit. And, and that's what Griselda brought to the game when they came out. Is that they were they weren't mumbling, they were on some real gritty beats, and that's what the game was missing at the time. Even though people were still making gritty sounds and 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 spitting that real shit, but the light wasn't on them like like it was on Griselda. You know, Shady picking them up, Prodigy messing with them, so they had a lot of eyes on them, and they delivered. You know, you know I, I always see people right. on you know talking bad about uh, West Side Gun and, and this and that, but you can't take away his business mindset. Right. You can't take that away, you know? You, you know, I hear people say, oh, his bars are whack, this, that, but it can't be whack if everybody's still listening. He's unique. Because, like, he reminds yeah. me of that ODB flow. He's not, he ain't going to Fit it like a Nas or a Jay Z. He, he rap different than that. He do more gritty, slow, you know, style type boom bap, you know, flow. So, like I yourself, don't consider him you, whack. He's just different. Like yourself, you got that, you got that, that grit, raw voice, you know, that makes you unique, you know. Right. And that's what people want to hear. They want to hear uniqueness. You want to hear original, authentic shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's why, you know, I respect you, man. And, you know, I appreciate it. Likewise, man. Keep hey, doing you your you thing. Do because... Go ahead, E. Yeah, I'm saying we definitely salute you because you're a part of the branch that keeps us motivated to cover in the culture because Every time we hear new artists, we get goosebumps, not goosebumps, but we we get excitement to cover that. You know, and also, to, you know, to bring you on the show and to pick your brain and let us know your story, it's a it's a unique thing. So we definitely appreciate you. I appreciate y'all, yeah. man. Listen, listening to y'all, man, that's, that's what motivates artists like myself, you know what I mean? Platforms like this. Y'all could tell, you know, I could tell that, Y'all know the culture. Y'all know what y'all talking about. Y'all done lived it. Y'all done seen it. So, 
to get y'all co signed. You know what I mean? That that's that's why I do this, you know what I mean? I just I want the real hip hop heads to listen. That's that's all that was my always my goal. I want to be heard around the world by people who appreciate good music. You know what I mean? That's that's what matters the most. You got any shows coming up? Are you looking to go on the road soon? Like, you know, how could people... I'm definitely, definitely plotting on that. I'm on, I want to do a show here in Rochester. Then I just want to spread my roots. Because, like, before the pandemic happened, I was already trying to, you know, do a show in Syracuse, and then I was going to try to do set something up in New York City. But then the pandemic happened, and just after that, I just was focused on just making music. But, um... I definitely been getting a lot of offers, a lot of people saying I should come over here and, you know, start doing shows over there. And so I'm definitely about to look more into that. You know what I mean? I've just been focused on creating right now. But um, definitely, once I get done with putting out all these projects, I'm definitely going to look into doing like a little small little chicken circuit run type thing. Yeah, for sure. If you ever come to New York, let me know. Well, you're in New York, but I'm talking about New York City. You know, no, that's a fact. If you ever come to the boroughs, you know, let me know I'm there. I'll definitely come out and support you. You know. I appreciate and, um, it. I definitely will. Keep being you, man. That's that's, that's the, the best advice I could give is just continue to be you, and people going to gravitate to you. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I say, people people like to relate. And you be spitting shit that people can relate to. That's what makes a great artist. You know, being in, being in tune with being the people. Yeah. You know, be in tune with the people. That's why that's Black Poet has been around for so reality, long. You know, right? yeah, right. you know that's why Black Poet, the legend, who's on the show with us, he's been around for so long because people could relate. You know, they know about that project life. They know about the hard times and what you got to do to survive. And and that's why he's respected, not only because he, you know, he went around battling artists. He had to battle with KRS, you know, holding down Queens Bridge while KRS was trying to go at the bridge. And, and, you know, he lived through that, you know. But people still love him because he's just unique. He's his own rawness, you know. And that's what you you just got to, you know, be in tune with the people. The people going to come, man. The haters going right. to come. The right. naysayers going to come. But the followers and your fans is going to keep coming. As long as you keep giving them that heat. And like I said, Screwball Radio, we play nothing but that street heat shit. Straight gutter music, you know. We don't play none of that other bullshit. You ain't hearing Drake right. on here. You ain't hearing... You ain't hearing none of that shit on him. We're not playing it. Right. And it's not out of hate. That shit just don't move me. If I'm with a chick, all right, that's one thing. But when we talking hip-hop, boom bap, that gritty shit, that's that's what we play here on School Ball Radio. Man, that's, that's what it's all about, man. Real real hip-hop. That's that's how I was, I was born into it. You know what I mean? Like my dad said, uh, I was born in the front of, you know, two techniques and a mic, you know what I mean? So that's that's just what I live and breathe. There you go. You you was the you was the cross fader in the middle, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> that's a fact. You was the cross fader, you the one that blended the record, you know? You was right there. You know, and, and like I said, you can hear it. You can hear it. You can hear it. Keep doing your thing, man. We got any more music, E? No but before we get out of here, yes, sir, we're going to play this new, this final joint called Family yeah, Tree. Hold up. hold up a second. Let the people know where they can find you, your social media handles. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Because, you know, we got listeners all around the world. We get people from Germany. We got people from Italy, France. They all tune in to us because they love what we what we be doing. So... You know, let the people know where they can find you at. Of course, you're on all platforms, but just let the people know. Um, check me out, M. Diego, on Twitter, 
Instagram, Facebook. Um, check out my bro Manzu Beats from Italy. He on Twitter, Facebook, and on Instagram he DBTZ and Manzu Beats. And you know we on all streaming platforms. Universal Tongues Three. And we also got um Bandcamp as well, and that's where you can find the vinyls and merchandise on Bandcamp on Manzu Beats page. And just a uh, shout out to you know everybody that helped put together in the project. You know what I mean? Katona P. Bless Picasso, Golden, Indigo Phoenix, Mav, Napoleon the Legend, Cut Supreme, G Nice, and salute to Screwball Radio for giving me the platform. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, and people listening out there, man, go buy the record. Go cop the vinyl. Fuck all that streaming shit, man. Support the artists. You know, this, this is why we do it. We do it mm-hmm. so y'all can have something from us and, and put it in your collection and and say, yo, check this out and, and spread the word. That streaming shit, that shit is robbing the artists. It's keeping us broke. When we put money into making this music, go to Bandcamp. Manzu, DJ Manzu is the, the producer. Yeah, Manzu. Go buy the vinyl. Producer, and he, um, he mixed it, and he did the artwork. Universal Tongues 3. Go buy that, man. Don't be cheap. Yeah, stop being cheap, man. Go go support your artists, man. Go make artists great. And the way you make artists great is by listening to their music and buying their merchandise. Buy a hoodie, buy a hat, buy the vinyl, right. buy a cassette tape, buy the C D. Own the shit. What happened when that fucking Spotify drop and all that shit? And now you look done lost all your music because you had that shit on your phone instead of having the library, a oh. collection in your crib. Right. Go support the, the whole office, library man. and whole library and smoke. <laughs> mm-hmm. Word up. Give it to him, E. Yeah, we better play this joint here, and we out of here. On that note, Schoolboy Radio, another week. Check us out next week. M. Doc Diego. Straight out of Rochester, New York. Universal Tongues 3. Let's go. What? Shout out Black Poets. To the record, watch it spin and just listen. PM Doc Man's do a three car collision. I was given a chance to enhance the vision. Not separation, but ideas that it dance the rhythm. Hand me the soundscape, watch me flip a pound kick. Brakes make the sound ache, hit and make the crown shake. Full demolition before flush, flush your whole tour bus. The brush with death just went left, hush. Right on track to touch the sky without why double easy, why with the fiasco tried, but he's been put on the hit list to die. See, fun set is all. In the eyes, I look through them all the way past to the other side. So spool my grown hives from deep down inside, pursuing accolades from the ones that I figured was doing the same as me. But I'm viewing that it's plain to see. We ain't know from the same family tree. And that's just facts and how it's gotta be. And that's just fine, do you or do me? Cause there's enough out here for all of us to eat, and that's key. We ain't know from the same family tree. And that's just facts and how it's gotta be. And that's just fine, do you or do me? Cause there's enough out here for all of us to eat and that's key, let's go Bear witness to the show, respect plus money, that's all we came for yes. Came in the game with stripes like a bangle Stripe. Received the beat like Ocho Tanko Hit a pump bass in your speaker, beat like Hustle the Geekers yeah. Turntable of mic, a beat in the speakers The flow break dance on the track, me the teacher They're reaching for the spot, sometimes you gotta teach them uh. Y'all know how me and P rock Reminisce over lost ones it and make it with us to the top So we gotta put on and make the scene hot Watch them fly Y'all can't eat when we drop We all from the side What's the tribe? Do you know the knowledge? Do you subscribe? The side to the underground Got the whole world under now Trying to tell them they gon' come around We ain't know from the same family tree And that's just facts and how it's gotta be and that's just fine, do you or do me? Cause there's enough out here for all of us to eat and that's key. We ain't know from the same family tree. And that's just facts and how it's gotta be. And that's just fine, do you or do me? Cause there's enough out here for all of us to eat and that's key. It's the sun.
They used to make shark tanks. Dude. Oh, that was awesome. What is that stuff? How does that work? Oh, what are you going to do now? Whoa! 